Alright guys, and welcome back to the Spelunky Eggplant of King Yama Challenge Run. Now, um, we haven't had that much luck today. Uh, I decided to go ahead and my my whole, uh, you know, new character per day rule, I decided to just kick that in the ass. Because uh, obviously it's just, I haven't, it hasn't been happening with my <laughs> older character. I also decided to just quit the, get, the goddamn game altogether. I turned the system off and like I figured, give me a new seed. Because, you know, right now we're on the uh, fuck you seed, essentially. Um... What that also entails is... Oh, shit, what am I going to do here? What is this? I kind of want to get up there. Okay, well, let's drop this bomb here. E essentially, what's happened this run is that um, everything that <laughs> could go wrong has gone wrong. And it hasn't even happened because... Um, well, not this run in particular, but this day of recording just because it's it's all been a mind game. I explained this. I, it's been, I, I've been, you know, over-analyzing, overthinking everything, and... Uh, it hasn't been the best play. I've gotten far, yeah, but at the same time, I haven't really ran into like any really options where I've had the uh, I've had the eggplant challenge even happen. Like nothing's really necessarily happened so far. That's gonna be like, okay, well, this is gonna one. This is step one to the eggplant. I think at some point we got a gift box, but uh, in the store, but there was no altar, and you know I haven't even seen hired help. If I want to go that route, and then you know. Uh, there might have been a chance to piss off a few Kali altars here and there and get the ball and chain if I wanted to go that route. But again, I also had no access to the eggplant. So it just hasn't really come to like fruition, essentially. It's been like nothing's really, I guess, paired up in self for us to make this happen. So uh, I suppose that fact alone is kind of really kind of getting to me and really affecting my play even more so than usual. So I, hopefully I'm going to use the Microtonda here. And uh, Microtonda is, uh, you know, Erwin Archeister, IRS, you know, but, um, this is obviously an African-American, so it's not exactly IRS, but to me, uh, I'm just using the, the Microtonda name as a, you know, play on words, essentially. So, uh, Microtonda's gonna be, and, you know, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. It's gonna be, a uh, Afro-Rotonda, assuming that's not too offensive. If it is, then let me know, then I will not call him Afro-Rotonda anymore. Uh, it probably does sound offensive, actually, <laughs> I think about it to myself. Apologize, I, I, th there was no, uh, offense behind it, it's just, uh, I figured out, I was trying to figure out a name to add the whole, you know, ethnicity thing to his name. Because, you know, I can't just call him Microtonics and I'm fine and like, oh. But either way, uh, let's see here. Uh, snake level. That's good. And we have a lot of money, so that's also good. So, that means I could kind of splurge a bit by buying the spike shoes. And you know what? Let's even get the spring shoes this time. Not the fucking sunglasses. We don't, we don't need those at all. Now, our next set goal here is going to get into the actual uh, snake pit itself. So, let's bomb through here. And let's go ahead and use one more bomb for that. And yeah, so essentially we had to do this because the uh, shopkeeper, unless we wanted to piss off the shopkeeper, he was kind of like being a dick and blocking our path there. So I decided to use the damsel to take a, take a damage for me there because I wanted to get at least those gems because like I said, we're going to use a little bit of money. Uh, Snake Pit's going to allow us to make some of that money back for sure though, but... You know, every little bit counts, especially if I don't want to, you know, aggro the shopkeepers in order to achieve my ultimate goal here. Um, th that's not even worth the ghosting, really, so let's just ignore that altogether. Let's get this gold bar. And I'm pretty sure that's also been triggered already, so... With that said, we could kind of just drop down here, and what do we have here? A parachute, whatever, it doesn't really do much for me, ever. There's never been, I don't think there's ever been a situation for me where I've kind of like been like, Well, good thing I had that parachute, you know? It just never really has happened. Uh, I feel that most of the times when I do have it, I'll have like a jetpack or or like a cape or something where it just triggers when I'm already like floating down or something. It's kind of like, dude, why are you triggering? I don't want to get you right now. So let's go ahead and get the pickaxe and hide up here in case any sort of uh, residual damage tries to affect this. Uh, I think the exit is going to be to the right hand side, I believe, but the left hand side seems to have a lot of crates for us to use. And we're also going to have access to a sticky paste. However, um... We only have one bomb, so I might want to avoid that and see. Hopefully one of these crates will give us more bombs. If it does, then we'll just use a bomb too. All right, excellent. And we got the pitcher's mid here. So essentially, okay, more bombs, excellent. So you know what? This kind of worked out really to our advantage. All we need is the Ujet Eye to make this uh, pickaxe just really amazing for us. So let's just, might as well cut a hole through there. And bring the damsel onto the exit. Now, how do I want to go about this guy? Just a regular bomb, I believe. That's the reason I got those extra bombs and kind of gave me the go-ahead to just bomb that and get the paste for us. Uh, did we have the paste already? I believe we did, didn't we? Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and use a rope for this. Trigger the spider. Already, I feel that um, we're kind of like calming down a bit and... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Spelunky, always keeping you modest. Already, I think I'm calming down a bit, and I take the most ridiculous damage to that spy, that goddamn snake. All right, well, example of, uh... <laughs> that's an example right there. I guess, oh, another snake level. Excellent. Here's the thing. I'm not sure what it is. I have the worst, I guess, perception imaginable when it comes to... Oh, hey, look at that. The, uh... <laughs> Oh, the egg, oh, not the eggplant, but the parachute just made itself known. It was like, oh, you were talking shit about me, high asshole. Well, I'm going to actually save your life for once, and uh, I'm going to have you take everything you said about me back. How did that work out? That just fucking, I swear to God, this game just has a fucking mechanic. Oh, this is why I love this game, man. It's just goddamn unpredictable. Really, suddenly I just choke it up altogether, and the parachute that I was over here trash talking the last floor comes back to save my ass. Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. I suppose every item really has a really good use in Spelunky. <laughs> so over here, if we could find ourselves a shop, which I really doubt there will be, but if there is, we could kind of, um, you know, maybe start thinking. Start thinking, eggplant, right? That'd be great. I don't see one though, but at least the key, the key's gonna be down here as well. And we also need to might as well take that pickaxe down as well. Uh, Senorita, let me have you stay there because um, it'll keep you at least from moving about and possibly blowing up or something. So let's get the Ujedi here, first of all. Let's uh, kill that snake as well. Alright, and let's give ourselves access to here. Now, obviously this right here is the older pickaxe, so let's go ahead and milk the hell out of this thing before we decide to take the next one up. Or take the next one to our next level and whatnot. So... Let me get access to this crate as well. More rope. Okay, that's fine. And do this. Fortunately, I'm not seeing too many gems in the uh, on the walls themselves, which is, you know, kind of a waste, really. But I, I do have two pickaxes, so I got to make the use of this one since I can't take two of them to the next floor. Not without hired help. And, you know, we know how that goes. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. You know exactly how that goes. And that's a fucking bullshit method. God damn, that spider spotted me from like a mile away, didn't it? Like, off-screen, it was kind of like, all right, let me come and kamikaze on over to you. All right, let's see what's going on on the other side of this level here. Okay, another pissed-off spider. And let's see. I already accessed that area, didn't I? I did. I don't really necessarily think that spider is worth my time, though. So let's just cut through there. And I know that we're running pretty thin on time now, so we still have to sacrifice this damsel as well. Let's not forget about that. So, oh, hey, 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 relax there. Okay, well, relax especially now that the ghost is on my ass, and this is the uh, time where I make the most mistakes, really, once I start panicking a bit. So let's go ahead. Oh, and he did come out from this side. So, oh, coming glass. Perfect. All right, you know what? That'll work out pretty well. So let us uh, say fuck you to this pickaxe, maybe? Well, let's... Okay, okay. Nope, sorry, 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 Ghost Man. I apologize. I know I got greedy again, and I'm gonna leave instead. I'm gonna take the new pickaxe, and we're good, right? We're, we're perfectly fine. Me and you are all good. All squared away. All right, so into the fourth level, we have all the money that we need for the uh, Ankh, for one. And over here, really nothing of value, so let's just buy the bomb bags to be safe, though. Uh, no, I'm not gonna piss off that shopkeeper yet. I don't think it has to come down to that right now, so let's avoid it if we can. Okay, uh, spider, and then a few Ultimo Dragons here, just being assholes, obviously. Now, that spider, as we know, it's not gonna give up on us, so... I might start thinking about just kind of ending his life, because... He's gonna chase me down. It's gonna be like, uh, like Sting, essentially. Every move I make, he'll be watching me. So, let's see, let's open up this as well. All right, yeah, I know. I know you're going to come at me. I'm aware of that. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, bad damage. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's still salvageable. This is all still salvageable. We're having a really good run so far. Let's not, you know, lose control. Um, you know, it could happen at times a bit where, you know, you start panicking a bit, but this is when, this is when uh, you know, I got to persevere through this. You know, it's kind of like, you know, just get the shit together and, like, you know, you know, get it all together. Just wind it up pretty well. All right, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice, but I'm not gonna use a bomb for that, that's for sure. So let's just go ahead and trigger this here. We're okay. Uh, huh. I almost took another damage there, but I decided to slow it down. That's basically gonna change your run, you know, just kind of being able to wrap that shit up when it's not going too well suddenly. Alrighty, and let's get this gem here. 
Now the damsel, I don't believe I've seen her so far, and I could definitely use her extra bit of loving, that's for sure. And what's going on with this pickaxe? It's just kind of floating in the air there. Uh, where is the damsel at? She's some location that I miss? Or skipped altogether? Probably. I'm not gonna really spend my time to go back up there, so, so you know what? I'm gonna have to kind of just uh, go about it this way, just with, uh, to health and hope for the best. And I believe this will take us to the jungles, right? Yes, alright, so... Who's making it to the jungle now? And the dead are restless, so this is gonna give us access to... Uh, a little bit of extra money. Now, over here, we can also go to the... I suppose, a uh, haunted level. And with the haunted level, it's uh, it's a guaranteed uh, altar, I do believe, is what I've been told about that. And what that does is that um, there's a lot of bodies there to, uh, I suppose, sacrifice. So, you know, and not, not my sacrifice, not like Scott Staff and, you know, Creed and whatnot. Uh, not that sort of sacrifice, but, you know, um, just kind of sacrifice. And, oh, we're also going to get access to the uh, cape, exactly. So that's also going to be good. So let me... Okay. Vampiro, man! Really, it's no need for that. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fly up to me? Fly up to me. Good. Excellent. Alright, so uh, I really need that damsel now, that's for sure. <laughs> I feel like uh, we're kind of really cutting it close now. Uh, I know I gotta get it together, but I've kind of been preaching to myself, but at the same time, I gotta get it together in terms of just uh, doing, making stupid mistakes. Now, if you're ever interested in the haunted level, it's gonna be right down here, right? Yes. That right there is access to the haunted level itself. I'm not gonna go ahead and use that. Oh god damn it! Yeah, that damsel is uh, in the way of a uh, basically a little bordello in a sense, and uh, it's basically open prostitution if you ask me. That's what that uh, shopkeeper is doing there. He's got that damsel. He's making her sell kisses. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's just a PG version. That's what they want you to think. She's doing more than selling uh, kisses if you ask me. But I uh, okay. Now this thing is liable to jump pretty far, so I'm not gonna- don't land on me. Just jump, man. And by jump, man, I'm not talking about uh, Super Mario or uh, Michael Jordan. Okay. I, I need to buy a few of these, unfortunately. Uh, let me get- Let me get two. I can afford two. Just to get me up to three. Just to get a safe- uh, I want to get the peace of mind a bit, you know? I say that as I take that spike to the face. Alright, so now, interesting situation. We could get the uh, extra gold over here. I'm not going to go to the haunted level. I contemplated it, but it's really not to my really best situation at the moment. So let's just go ahead and grab this. This is going to trigger... Uh, obviously, when you grab this, it's always going to trigger the uh, the ghost. But it's worth it because uh, once you're pretty much done with the level, it's an easy 15,000 for sure. And if you've taken your time in the level, the ghost is going to come. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you can make two ghosts spawn, like, you know, the time ghost and then the ghost for picking that up. I assume you don't, but, you know, not something I... Okay, so over here we have an altar. So, I, if there is a shop here, if there is a shop here, I might get a little bit excited about our whole situation suddenly. Now, let's, uh, you know what, let's end this piranha's life by just getting rid of his uh, water supply. Because those piranhas are, could be assholes at times, honestly. So, let's see here. Let's try to find ourselves a market. A market would be swell right now, let me tell you. Let's get rid of this Tiki Trap. Let's get rid of all Tiki Traps, honestly. I, if I could not deal with those things altogether, I would be a very happy man, let me tell you right now. Alright, so that's gonna probably take rid of that trap for us, right? Or some of it. Good. And do that. That's not gonna be our problem anymore. And let's see here. Well, doesn't seem like it's gonna be a shop here, unfortunately. We also haven't seen our Ujet Eye go off, so that's something else to keep in mind. And take that rod from there. All right, so on, obviously I could take the uh, damsel and sacrifice her as well, and that's something I will be looking to do. Yeah, that's the exit right there, and no shop. All right, so let's go ahead and... Probably should have taken care of this sticky trap as well. I just didn't think I was going to come be coming back up for this, but it's fine. Not too bad of a road up here, honestly. And there is our Kapala. Excellent. Now with the Kapala... Obviously, with the Kapala, um, every single enemy that you kill is going to drop blood. If you physically pick up that little uh, pixel of blood, then it's going to... Okay. <sighs> Stupid monkey, stop it. Alrighty, so let's not even worry about these... Oh, and my Ujedi just broke. I mean, my Ujedi, but uh, my pickaxe just broke, so that's fine. I wanted to kind of make myself through there, but I don't want to fucking deal with those spikes, honestly. I, I have a bad track record, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, with... Uh, 
tense situation, so uh, let's uh, not mm, let's not add on to the uh, choking feature. And you know what? Uh, there is oh, no no oh, oh fuck you! I saw you. I saw what you were up to. I'm not gonna fucking take it. So let's just throw a bomb at you and get rid of you all together. All right. Oh, that could have been really bad. That thing would have probably ricocheted me into the eggplant, or not the eggplant. Uh, God, I got an eggplant in the mine. I missed that eggplant so much, man. It would have ricocheted me onto that man-eating plant over there, and it would have been the end of the run altogether. So, yeah. Good thing I noticed that just in time. All right, so what is this? This is a level 2-3, so hopefully our black market is here. And there is another altar over here. So, you know, we're getting lucky with these. Before I even open up an area to it, let's go see if there is a shop. If there is a shop, then there is a shop. Unfortunately, it's a gambling shop, and oh, he's got the... All right, let's gamble a bit. Uh, the huge, uh, I mean, the black market, as you can see, is gonna be on that rock right there. Huh? Ah, ah! Why tease me, shopkeeping man? All right, so let's open up a pad here. I want some money, that's cool, but that's not really what I'm looking for at the moment. Now, while you do that, uh... Okay, <laughs> Easy there. Easy there, Tiki Trap! Alright, that worked out pretty well. So our opening is ready to go, and luckily for us, before anything, let's uh, get this extra bit of money. Okay, I have so much money at the moment that I really don't want to piss off. I I'd rather just win this jetpack legitly and go into the black market with peace of mind. So it's not going to happen this round, that's for sure. I'm getting a lot of money, though. I apparently I keep winning. <laughs> Which is good. I suppose I could just kind of buy myself a jetpack legitly, hoping there is one in the black market. Let me go ahead and save the damsel here as well. I've reached a point right now where um, we got the Kapala from the uh, Kali statue, obviously. What that does is that once you got the Kapala, if you keep sacrificing a bit more, I'm not entirely sure of the point value exactly for it, but if you sacrifice a bit more, it gives you like a eight boosts or something to hell. It's a it's a really significant number, though. It's really uh, noticeable when you do get it. So if you do keep sacrificing, there is a bit more of an advantageous spot to it. So this is not going to get me the thing as well. Okay. So uh, luckily for us, the uh, black market isn't too far off from here. So I'm going to milk this to the very end. Okay, keep going, keep going. No, I was not going to make it. I'm going to milk this to the very end until the ghost pops up. Because I really want access to this uh, jetpack. But I want to do it without uh, pissing this guy off, honestly. I have too many good things going for myself. Okay, uh, no, it's not going to do it. I have a lot of good things going for me at the moment that I don't want to ruin it by, you know, having some asshole shopkeeper end my life. However, that ghost is going to be coming up pretty soon, I imagine. Could this be it? A bit more, a bit more! Oh, big money! Oh, I hate you, Drew Carey. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, I, I keep wondering if, like, people... I, I remember that, you know... What's his name? Uh... Drew Carey did take over the prices to ride. I haven't seen the price ride in a long, long time. And all right, here comes the ghost, guys. So, yep, it's not going to happen for us, unfortunately. That's very unfortunate. Oh, that's very unfortunate, too, that I missed out on that crate down there. But oh well. Kind of the things you kick. I mean, unfortunately, my uh, old gambling habits were rising up again. And, you know, I can stop anytime I want to. Sir, don't escort me out of here unceremoniously. You're making me, you're making me look like a fool in front of my friends. Uh, I know that I was trying to sell, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, sexual favors in the uh, restroom there for a few extra coins, but that's, you know, besides the point. So, uh, be <laughs> avoid that speak altogether. I make fun of it, but unfortunately, it's a very dark time of my life. So, yeah, of course, we're going to be able to buy the jetpack here. So let's do that. Let's fucking just do that. Um, over here, I mean, if anything, we almost got enough money from gambling to get the jetpack legitly here. There's a gift box here, obviously, and it's, it's gonna serve to taunt me because there is no altars here to get the eggplant, so fuck you very much. Now, what are we gonna do here? Uh, okay, obviously we're gonna take damage from Dracula, for one. So, come on. Come at me one more time! I took damage from him again, are you kidding me? What the fuck, alright. Yeah, you know what, you stay there, you've just been kind of like a trouble on me, really. Can I...? Yeah, I could kill you that way. Let me just get rid of you all together. That's not gonna piss anybody off, I don't believe. Now, let's also buy the, uh, Ankh, legitly. And that's it. That's all I really need, don't I? I got everything else. I suppose more bombs will work. What's down here? Let's go hit up that bomb shop, but not, don't hit a ticky trap now. So, yes, there's no reason not to buy these bombs at this point. 
Can I buy spawn back too? Probably I can, but maybe... No, I don't really need ropes. I have the jetpack after all. Uh, let's just hold on to a bit of money in case I run into the uh, gift box in one of the later stages, because I still need to look out for that, obviously. Let's not forget that that's our main priority at all times, the gift box. So, what is going on in the gambling boot as well? Nope, nothing of interest. And did I miss the ash grave? I'd like to get a shotgun, I suppose. Why not, if it's there? And let's just get rid of that situation there, and Dracula man, don't start doing this to me. Alright, there's our ash cave, perfect. So let's just go ahead and get the shotgun as well. Might as well, not gonna hurt anything. And you know what, I'm a little bit scared of that tiki trap. I don't want, I, I don't want myself to cling to that tiki trap with my gloves and then just cause the whole situation there, so that's fine. Um, this is gonna take us to 2-4, I do believe. What do you, or no, the games themselves, alright, what do you want now? Two ropes? Okay, take the ropes. This guy always wanting stuff. Jesus Christ, such a needy guy. Alright, so I sense a psychic presence here, meaning that I could have gotten a, a free jetpack as well. But you know what? Hey, at least we don't have to worry about that anymore because I already have a jetpack, so we could avoid that altogether. And last one as well, we remember we did go to the mothership and we beat, uh, you know, the Super Metroid there, which, you know, pretty much tongue in cheek type of a uh, Super Metroid, really. But, um, we did do that as well, so let's not forget that. And this guy's gonna be an asshole and shoot his little, uh, Anubis type of attacks at us. Oh, oh, that was a little close. What's that rope? Fuck that, not worth my time. Maybe if that was a bomb box, I would have considered it, but other than that, nope. Not gonna deal with you. Not gonna deal with anything going wrong here. So let's just go ahead and smooth on around here. And this is the good thing about uh, not having... Oh, hey, we're gonna get us an extra character as well. This is the really good thing about having none of the... Uh, I suppose you could say... Hey, well, I killed you in the process. I apologize for that. Uh, none of the shotkeepers pissed at you because, uh, you know, it's a little bit more, less heralding when you kind of go into the exit. You don't have to worry about him hanging out there and, you know, just kind of popping up out of nowhere shooting his gun wildly at you. So, again, we're still on the lookout for the sacrifice thing, obviously. Preferably... Okay, so, there is a way to piss Kali off here. So, as long... Uh, well... That's not gonna work out for us. I need at least to uh, bomb two Kali sites, I believe, in order to get the ball and chain, and then basically... Uh-oh, oh uh oh uh oh uh oh That was a little bit heralding there, but that's fine, we're still good. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys, because I... Actually, no, you know what? I don't even need that shotgun. I'm gonna lose it anyway. Well... Yeah, there's really no point in it, sacrificing anything at the moment because I'm gonna just kill myself. The only point that it really matters is sacrificing myself. So, what we're gonna do, however, is uh, sacrifice old lady kins over here, and hopefully it doesn't. That's gonna blow her up, isn't it? Yep, that's what I figured. It was a very. I probably should have approached that in a different situation, but I didn't. So let's see here. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. There's no shops, no nothing. Nothing to really work in our favor. Not that if there was any shops, we'd be doing us a self favor. Although maybe hired help already would have been good, but that's fine. So let's just go ahead and uh, kill ourselves very unceremoniously here by just jumping off the cliff, and that'll do it for us. And that again will give us uh, uh, the hedge it itself. And on over to the next ice cave level, which will be 3-3, I believe. Yes. Yes, is it? Yeah, it smells like wet fur in 3-3. Alright, so you know what? It pisses me off because we're actually getting so many altars for one. Oh, no! No, that's not good at all. That is not very good at all. There's no reason for me to get... Uh, can I still sacrifice on that little piece? Okay. Oh, you know what? She's not angry. She's not completely angry at me. Yeah, because I got the Kapala, so I had a lot of I had a lot of good points with the uh, the sacrifice deity right there. So that's fine. Let's get rid of this guy here. Now, here is the thing that we should really go. Oh, don't all fall down. I was gonna say this is something to really consider here. Would be uh, sacrificing these guys because it'll give me that big health boost that we talked about. So let's do that. Might as well pick up the blood that uh, drops from that, by the way. No reason not to. Look at these guys, just kind of being assholes right there. Alright. Okay, and there's big ol' angry wet fur, man. Let's go ahead and kill him, too. 
assuming this uh, alien doesn't really do it for me. It seems like he's trying to. There we go. We killed a big wet fur man there. So, uh, let's see. What can we do? Well, we could also get access to the damsel and sacrifice her, I suppose. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I don't think there's any shops here. This has actually just worked as a... Really a way to get more health, honestly, for me. Which is fine. I'll take that. I don't think there's any shops here. I gotta, I'll take a little perusal real quick. Let me just uh, drop one more body in there. See if that'll make, make a big difference for me. I don't think it will just because uh, she did get pissed at me because I blew up the altar at some point. So that's fine though. But we're up at six health. So that's pretty good at the moment. And uh, let's see. Take a look around here and make sure there I don't take a damage, first of all. It doesn't seem like there's any shops either, so unfortunately for us, no eggplant here either. This would have been the ideal spot after the, uh, after the sacrifice, honestly, but hey. It is what it is, unfortunately, so let's just go ahead and keep on trucking over here to 3-4. Maybe I'll get lucky here, maybe we'll get a chop, and maybe we'll get another altar. I've been running into a lot of altars here, so... Alright. Kill that guy there for no real reason at all, just my self-gratification, and do the same with that guy there. Get you out the way, and more bombs is always good. I'm not gonna go to the uh, Mothership level this time, it did last time, and it went pretty well for us, I honestly think. Uh, showed off the cannon a bit, see what that's uh, capable of, and it's a fun weapon, just uh, really dangerous sometimes, but... Pretty good in the right hands, which uh, normally means not my hands. <laughs> okay, drop on here. And, yeah, really nothing of value there. Let's just go ahead and get Damsel as well. Alright. Perfect. And, yeah, get the Damsel here. And, unfortunately, once again, no shop as well. We're not really getting lucky. Uh, it's Again, we're getting closer and closer to the point where I don't believe the Eggplant is going to really come about this run in particular. But, I hope to at least clean up the uh, fucking mess I made last time when I got to the... <laughs> City of Gold and I, you know, just pretty much botched that all together. So, do I want access to you? Mm, not particularly at the moment. I have bigger fish to fry, which is gonna be... Anubis, first and foremost. And also... Oh, there is a sacrificial altar here. Jesus Christ, I'm getting so many of these, yet I can't get a goddamn gift box. That's basically Spelunky just giving you the finger, essentially. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're looking for. I know exactly what you're trying to do, but you know what? Uh, keep dreaming. It's not gonna happen. Let's get rid of that uh, fucking brick buff trap there. That's always trying to fuck with me. And let's find Anubis. We gotta find Anubis as well. And once we find Anubis, maybe, maybe we'll run into a shop. I don't think we will, but it could be hopeful. It's a lot of uh, those traps there. That's for sure. So let's see. Where is Anubis? Anubis, where are you? Oh ho ho! Oh, not there. And if you are there, I wouldn't go through there. That's for sure. All right, so let's, uh, let's try to find a new. Oh, Somehow, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs>